Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Linkaya. Today, we might be finishing the game. So, we gotta go to the last place in this game, Demiurge Tower. I don't exactly know how to say that, but anyway. This is our last stop, guys. This is the Source Forge. This is gonna be the final battle. I'm excited. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. We're gonna finish the game, guys. So, I don't know if it's gonna be this episode or next, but it's probably gonna be this episode. So, the Source Forge is down there. Yeah, probably. It sounds like the Source Forge is moaning. Ooh. There's the three crystals that we have gathered in the past couple episodes. Hey! Look what the sacred stones are doing. It's as if they understand they know everything hangs on this battle. We cannot afford to lose. We absolutely got to restore the Source Forge back to the way it was. I agree. It's very important. Very nice. Demiurge Tower. Yeah, we gotta go to this cable over here. It's gonna be some of the hardest enemies in the game. They're not gonna be too hard though. Although I should walk off my Heaven's Gate, because that's still running from last episode. I guess we'll leave that running for now, and, and we'll see later, I guess. Like, we'll, we'll test out the enemies once it wears off, but it looks like we might have a battle here. This is as far as you go, and there's no retreat for you now, either. The very fact you must mean... You, the only very fact you're here, you must mean you defeated Ross and gotten a hold of the sacred teal stone. The end will soon change everything, this entire world and every little thing that is in it. In the next world, only the chosen ones will have the right to live. You, you were among the chosen ones, and yet you try to save those that will be destroyed. Why? Um, we can't just stand around and do nothing. We don't know if we've got the power to restore the world back to the way it was or not. But we just have, we can't just stand back and do nothing. We have to try. I see you have a strong will to survive, or perhaps a sense of duty. Either way, a man is powerless in the face of destiny. Why are you trying to destroy this world and create a new one? Wouldn't you like to see the new world too? A place in which life and the world itself are intermingled into one? Life in its ideal form. There will be no death, no fear. All life combined into one. The ultimate world. There will be... There will no longer be any strife. The individual will no longer exist. Trans transcend life for all eternity. You couldn't possibly understand. You who continue to struggle and fight, ruled by your useless emotions. Are we fighting her? I think we're. I think she's sending out her uh, origin after us, guys. Looks like we're fighting it. Just as I expected, I see talking was a waste of time. We are what we are. We can't live any other way. We can't even coexist. There's nothing more for us to talk about. I know you want to advance forward, even if that's killing me. I challenge you. Come and face the secrets of Cabell. Forever erased from history and my origin. The spatial origin Vestra. So she's a Cabell? Maybe uh, her and Maya are related then. That'd be, a, that'd be an interesting... Uh, interesting twist okay we don't have 100 AP on anybody so I guess we'll just go ahead and get 100 AP so battle flash wind blade hug stroke thunder flash let's go ahead and hit Velma with her let's go ahead and do mayhem aqua spear uh, on Velma and with her let's go ahead and use windmill rose uh, no I didn't mean to do that crescent heal Rising stars, rising stars, yeah, on Velma. Wow, her defense is quite low. Actually surprising. Maybe her magic defense is high, but her normal defense is low. Two thousand damage. That's pretty good. And Aang should probably even do more. And just a quick note, guys. We also are probably overleveled for this dungeon. Also, 
we're all around level 70. I don't know what we're supposed to go into his dungeon with because I overleveled a lot for the wind power. But it looks like, yeah, it looks like we're doing pretty good damage to him, so. Okay, so fire is decent, decent against her. Let's see if water is. Okay, water is about the same damage. So earth, earth. So earth is decent against her, too. What is this guy going to do? Oh, he's going to revive her. Hmm. Oh, they're going to combine. Or, oh, maybe he's protecting her. Acolyte's fist. Oh, that's actually pretty strong. Um, I wonder, can we, let's do, let's do a, uh, like a, what is it called? A variable attack. So let's go do A with him. With her, we're going to go ahead and, no, okay, do that attack. With her, we're going to go ahead and pull out a golden, no, we're going to do a silver brome. And with her, we're going to go ahead and do B. Phantom burst, there we go. Hope this does damage. I'm hoping it's not just like just magic damage. No, it is just magic damage, probably. That is pretty annoying, actually. That is pretty annoying. I guess we're gonna go ahead and origin blazing smash let's go ahead and just do another one of those and lightning arrow I don't I don't really know any other way to take care of this oh he brought her back so maybe we gotta kill him first As long as I have best, I will never be destroyed. Okay, so that basically All through yeah. the creation of the new world. For millennia. I have waited for this moment. Come what may. You will not proceed any further. Well, I kinda will. Okay, but this does basically tell me we do have to kill Vestra first. Okay, so we did quite a bit of damage to Vestra. Our variable arm, man. That was so much damage that we could have put towards, you know, damage. That's fine, though. As always, we're gonna make sure to keep, keep ourselves topped off, make sure we don't die. Now, we can't hit that thing with normal attacks, right? So I guess, do we gotta keep, I guess we're just gonna keep using Origins. Uh, let's just use Flaming Fist, and then we're gonna go ahead and guard, and then we're gonna use another Lightning Arrow, I guess. Let's do it!
another origin tower. Maya's gonna hurt right here. Oh. Okay. Then here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and origin with her. We're gonna guard. And with Sharon, what is what is this? Invincibility pill? Um Invincibility pill. Let's go ahead and use that on Maya, why don't we? Yeah. Make sure she doesn't take any damage, huh? It's a good thing we used the invincibility pill, so that attack was basically useless. Gonna use origin again. Let's go ahead and actually use attack. Why not? Um, let's go use big bang, big bang. Yeah, let's use two big bangs and origin power again. It's showtime. Sucks for you. Oh. Oh. Are you gonna get up? Or is she just gonna lay there and cry forever? Alright. Spell of dark. Interesting. My origin? No! I endured thousands of years waiting waiting for this moment. That sucks, doesn't it, huh? Thousands of years? I am a survivor of the Cabell, a race that was destroyed by humans. This body is nothing but a ghost-like shell. It's endured thanks to only to Vestra's power. I spoke of creating a new world, but in truth I was really only driven by deep hatred. I could never forgive the humans that destroyed my race. So you're saying you survived all that time just to get revenge? I don't imagine you could understand the hatred one feels when one's entire race is wiped out. Sorrow gives birth to hatred, and that hatred in turn bears more sorrow. The important thing is to forget to help each other and to love. That's an old saying among my tribe. Forgive you suggest I let go of those feelings, feelings I've held on to and lived by for thousands of years? People can change, even if you've got all the passion. I know you can change, too. What a simplistic idea. How naive. But I guess that's what human hope is really all about, isn't it? Sad. So, we were, we were just fighting a ghost all this time. It's so sad, I can't stand it. She lived all those years on hatred and wished for revenge. If it were me, I don't think it could have done it, living thousands of years on the sole strength of hatred. I wish we could have understood each other somehow. It's too bad it had to end like this. Yeah, that sucks. Oh well, though. Okay, let's keep going deeper. 
And I'm sure there's going to be a save point before we hit another boss. So I think we can go a bit deeper and we'll be fine. I really hope the Heaven's Gate goes away eventually, man. We've had this Heaven's Gate on us for quite a while. But it's okay for now, I guess. It'd be nice to get to a save point and then maybe... Uh, like, introduce ourselves to all the enemies here. Man, this road is long. And honestly, I'm kind of hoping there's no puzzles in this place. Like, I love myself some puzzles, but puzzles are pretty annoying. There's a chest. Near the Kingstone. Let's go over here first and see what's up. Where does this take us? This takes us to a camp. Okay, so that's basically saying that the boss is probably up ahead. Let's go ahead and save. And let's go check out the other way before we keep going. Let's go ahead and just check. Wait. Actually, we should uh, we should probably rest and everything too. Also, probably get a few chats in real quick. Just to kind of see what's up. Also, probably cook. Okay, let's go ahead and cook pork cutlet. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's do a few chats. She, she, she sure was filled with power of hatred to be... Really defeat her? I wonder. I still can't believe it. Can you imagine just wishing and hoping for the destruction of the world for thousands of years like she did? The Cabell race must have been bound by some pretty close ties, otherwise she wouldn't have been able to keep it up. She wouldn't have been able to hate for so long, for all those thousands of years. There's an old saying among my tribe, the root of love and hate is one, the deeper love is, the stronger hate can be. Do you really think it's okay for me to use this power? It's like Aqua said, there's nothing evil about power itself, it depends on the wielder of the power. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess I just have to believe in myself. Sayako, what's this battle? When this battle's over, what do you plan to do? Um, I'm going back to the village. Well, I guess I'll go back to Knoll, the place I was born and raised. Really? How boring is that? Here we are on this fabulous journey. Haven't you, I don't know, developed the taste for adventure? Um, well, even if I have, I'm still going back to Knoll. I want to see everybody. Yeah, that's what you say, but the truth is there's somebody waiting for you there, right? Come on, you might as well admit it. No, that's not it, really. So the source is down here, huh? I sense something extraordinary. It's some kind of highly charged atmosphere. I've never felt this before. We must stay on our toes from here on out. Alright, so let's just save one more time for good measure. Uh, let's go see what is over on the other side that we didn't go to. Probably just some chests, but um, it's good to just grab everything in here. And we still haven't faced any of the enemies. So we're prob what we're probably going to do here is get go to the other side, grab what's ever there, and then try to walk off this Heaven's Gate so we can actually face some enemies here. Alright, well here is our first encounter, so... Uh, we can kind of test the water, see how strong things are. Of course we're ambushed, dude. Come on, man. You couldn't let me get get the first... At least give me a normal battle. I guess this way we can see how strong they are, but... Okay, that's really not that strong, actually. I mean, they maybe have special moves that are a lot stronger, but that's basically nothing. Let's see what this guy does. Dark him. Uh, let's see how much is going to hurt us. I'm guessing 400 each. 400. Oh, wow. Okay. A little bit more than I thought. Still not too much, though. Let's go ahead and use Battle Flash, Wind Blade, um, Hawk, and Demon Thrust. Let's see how much damage that does against one of these things. With Maya, we're going to go ahead and Big Bang, Big Bang. Now we're going to hit uh, this one. And with her, we're going to go ahead and Windmill Rose, Blood Spark. 
riot flag. Yeah, that'll be fine. Actually, no, and we'll we'll hit this one. Let's see how strong these things are. Okay, these things really aren't that strong. Probably about 15,000 HP. So we could kill each of these in one turn. So that's pretty good. Actually, yeah, this is way overkill. This is way overkill. Yeah, it has around 10,000 HP. Which isn't really that strong, actually. It's pretty weak. Big Bang. Let's see how much health this thing has. Probably one of them will kill him. No, okay. This thing has quite a bit more. Uh, Power to destroy. Actually, no. It still has about 13,000, 14,000 HP. Yeah. So, okay. 4,300. So he has, yeah, he has about 15,000 HP then. The language will be trying to kill this thing. Okay. So, final final conclusion. After the grinding at Wind Tower, we are still over level. Which is really, really nice. Alright, so. What happened? Um, we're gonna keep trying to get some of the other enemies, obviously, I kinda wanna see what this place has to offer. 14,000 XP, that's not a lot more than what is offered at the Wind Tower, so I'm not mad, uh, acquired Heaven's Secret. I'm not mad that we granted at Heaven's Tower so much then. What is this? Rare gem, said to have fallen down from Heaven, okay. I'll gladly take you on! Okay, new Shade Flares. Interesting, let's go ahead and use Flaming Fist. Go ahead and guard, guard. I kind of feel bad splitting up uh, this dungeon into two parts, but I really think Velma's battle and the final battle should probably be split into two. Anyway, let's see how much damage this does. Enough to kill all of them, no problem. That was nothing. That was nothing. Yeah, it literally was. And we doesn't we don't get much XP or gold from those little star things. So that's kind of sad. I won't lose. Okay, Azul Velra. That's kind of interesting. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and Origin. Why not? Guard. Yeah, guard. guard. Let's let's see how much the Origin yeah. does to this thing. We already kind of determined the Velia. level of power of these creatures, and they should be around the same thing. All of them. One of them's not gonna be like super better than the other ones, so I'm guessing this thing pro probably has around 10,000 HP. Okay, so we did 13,000 to it and it's still alive, so it has probably around 16 All to right. 17,000 HP. The thing ran? <laughs> okay. That's, yeah, that's pretty rare. I never usually get stuff that runs. Alright, guys. Um, I guess we'll end up the episode here and go ahead and continue this next episode so guys thanks for watching if you did enjoy make sure you like in the comment as opposed to the channel and i will see you guys later god bless and goodbye